Can I show you the secret of change? Jesus himself told us that if any man be in Christ, it's a new creation. All things are past. Everything has become new. Can you see change there? The old is what? It's gone. The new, that is change. And it's a secret of change. That means that if you still coast on the old, the new can never come. For you to have the new, the old must go. Old ways, old thinkings, old patterns, old girlfriends and boyfriends. If you want the new, the old must what? Hey. Must go. It's a key. Behold, I do a new thing. Then, he told you that the things that were done in the past, they were gone. That means that if for now, you still brag about your old glory you are a present failure you don't know me eh? those times eh? when i was taking this money eh? i am a big man still the old you know why many christians have not stepped out of generational cases when he came he didn't come to fight the old he introduced the new and he brought the new covenant so the old covenant will pass don't fight the old rather begin to work towards the new if your mind is on the old the new cannot come listen the man that was blessed was jacob the one that didn't get blessing was esau and after some years they all return with abundance of material things the one blessed had plenty the one that didn't get blessed also brought plenty what is the secret hard work has what it brings to me so hard work is good it's not difficult for god to prosper you this year but a faithful man who can find can God trust you with money? A faithful woman who can find. Can God trust you with money? Hard work is good. It brings a daily reward. But kingdom prosperity functions after the principles of God. You see, when you were in the world, you were not hiding. But when you come into Christ, they say that. Now, you can decide to stay with your worldly mindset or open up to the newness of life and way of living. It's your choice. It's your decision. And I always say, when you go after what God has not given you, he will take what he has even given you. To you what have you that he didn't receive from him? Then oh, he yeah, said, no. give him 10 and take 90. Coming to Christ, you must lose some things. You must lose some time for certain pleasures. You must lose some money for the kingdom. You must lose certain habits. You must lose certain lifestyle. What have you lost? What did you lose for the kingdom? What pain have you gone through for the kingdom? Change is intentional. If you decide, you will break his yoke upon your neck. You will lose something. Friend. You have to lose some old friends. Some friends that are taking you away from him. You will lose some lifestyle. Old lifestyle. Old way of thinking. You will lose some habit. What have you lost? What have you lost since you, you married? You are still holding on to that old friend of yours. Even still in marriage. Show me what you have lost. Show me the pain you have gone through for the church. For the kingdom. Show me. You want to pray? Lord, close my past and open my future change is good there cannot be change and there cannot be growth without change and there cannot also be change without losses and there cannot be change or losses without pain there can be change without you choosing to change there cannot be growth without change and there can never be change without losses and there can never be losses without pain don't tell us what you got when you came into christ show us also what you lost when you came into christ what have you lost if what you got only is a definition of blessing then there were people who left all and came to follow there can never be change until you decide but there can't also be growth without change and there can never also be change without losses and there can't be losses without pain some things must pain you 